You might have seen this already, but I want you to watch it. Uh, it's a political ad. Officials closed the city of San Francisco this morning, citing the escalating crime and fentanyl crisis. Did that even happen? Did San Francisco even, like, get shut down? Oh, okay, I was like, that didn't happen. <laughs> a recent ad from the Republican National Committee imagines a dystopian future if President Biden is re-elected. An emboldened China invades Taiwan. But all isn't as it seems. So all the images in that ad were actually created using AI, artificial intelligence. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Images are powerful, you know, and that this ability to create so many images so rapidly it's an incredibly powerful tool. New artificial intelligence technology makes it easy to create fake images that can look very realistic, like these created by artist and online trust and safety expert Tim Boucher. This kind of image making can be democratized at such a scale and that basically anybody can use it to to impact the global conversation on, on pretty much any topic. From the comfort of his garage turned workshop in Canada, he has created all sorts of fake images. Imagining Vladimir Putin as a hippie, Governor Ron DeSantis at Disney, even President Reagan surrendering to the Soviets. He says he's creating the images to make people more aware of the powers of AI. Some people will just say, you are creating misinformation. Stop doing that. We don't have that luxury of waiting anymore. These things are happening in real time. We've got to find ways to, to talk about it and to be upfront about what are both the good things and the bad things that can come of it. Political campaigns have long used advertising to imagine the disaster that awaits if their rivals get elected. Yeah. Like this 1964 ad from President Lyndon B. Johnson that imagined a nuclear apocalypse. <laughs> Last year, a fake video purporting to show the Ukraine president surrendering to Russia emerged online. It was a deep fake video made using AI. It's not just, I can create a fake uh, audio of you, Joe Biden, whomever. It's that I can broadcast to that world instantaneously through social media. Hani Farid is a digital forensic expert and professor at UC Berkeley. 50% of the views happen in the first few minutes. So even by the time I figure out something is fake, Hours, days have gone by. It doesn't matter. It's over. Millions of people have already seen it. Greetings to all. But not all uses of this technology need to be nefarious. In India, AI was used to make it look like this politician delivered an address in multiple languages. This video is a deep fake. Now, Delhi has a chance to change it all. Imran Ahmed, who runs an organization tracking misinformation and online hate, says the Republican Party's AI ad isn't in itself dangerous. It's a gateway, potentially, to much more dangerous uses of AI. For example, trying to deep fake President Biden saying, I'm welp welcoming immigrants into the country, or President Biden saying, I'm going to force everyone to take a vaccine. Texas already has a law on its books against certain uses of deep fakes in the weeks leading up to an election. But it's not clear how enforceable that law actually is. So you might spot there's a tiny this morning, an disclaimer at the top that says it's made in a with AI. Oh, I'm blind. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. While some people we showed the ad to outside the White House knew it was fake, all of the images in it are actually fake. Yes. I would believe it. It looked it. like a video game. Right. Others weren't so confident. I don't think I would have known that was made with AI if you hadn't said anything. It's so, every time I see you, I say it's so scary. But what's interesting too is I know you've learned how AI is actually helping campaigns in terms of reaching voters. Mm. Is that safe? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's, it's scary. Um, yeah, so we spoke this week also to a data CEO who runs a company, you know, that targets voters. Uh, look, on every voter, a lot of campaigns have hundreds, sometimes thousands of data points about us, where we live, our demographics, how we voted before, etc., things like that, um, who we've donated to before. Uh, he was explaining how AI model systems can be used now to go through all of that data and see patterns that humans wouldn't be able to. So you're going to have more accurate or more... Um, uh, effective, I guess, targeting of voters. Uh, and also, uh, the same uh, CEO said that some of those emails we all get, those annoying campaign emails, mm -hmm. some of them may also be written by ChatGBT, written by AI. Now, that would not surprise me <laughs> at all. Donnie, appreciate it as always. Thank you.